Hey there guys, gals, fans, and pals. Welcome back, welcome back. I'm John Megacycle, another episode of Seven Days to Die. We're on day 3.5. Some good scavenging so far. I've been pretty happy with our findings. Did I search all this? I didn't search any of this. Uh, food, which I will eat. Now the reason why I grabbed whatever and put it up here... Well, so that way the empty can would come to my inventory. Otherwise, it'll just drop on the floor. That's fairly uncouth behavior, if you ask me. Quite uncouth. Is that everything? Good. We have a full day of more scavenging to get done. And you don't have to hear it from me how important it is for us to secure pretty significant resources early on, or we are going to have some problems. Um, am I full? I'm very full of stuff. I could drink the beer or throw away the moldy bread if I have to. Would not cry about it. Oh, wait. Did I go the wrong direction? Uh, I don't know if I was going a right direction. I was just... Yes, I've already been in here. Whoops. Yeah, I totally, uh... I did... No, that's right. I went to that house. <laughs> I take a five-minute break. I get turned around 90 degrees, and I don't even remember what the crap I was doing. Sounds right. Sounds right. Overtired me. Sounds right. <laughs> or just tired. I have to be overtired. I think I see a boar. Nope, oh, that's a bush. Ha! <laughs> oh, that's right. My favorite name for a strip joint is the booby trap. Oh. You usually find a lot of good stuff at the strip joint. And I don't mean that, like, in... Well, I... I whatever. <laughs> um, the thing is, you'll find a lot of searchables. Uh, holy crap, that came out wrong, too. Um, don't do drugs, kids. Don't do drugs. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Yeah, just don't, just don't do drugs. <laughs> End of line. I'm kind of blushing right now. <laughs> A little embarrassed. Uh, don't do drugs. Zombie businessman, you did. Look at that. Look at his, look at his neck. Oh. Oh. Oh, now it's, now it's, now he's, oh, gross. Oh, wow. That's a nice padlock. The problem with padlocks is they don't sell for anything really at all. So, kind of, who cares? The more important thing is that, uh... I guess I scrap them. Is, is really the more important thing. I'm all knock-knock who's there, but I'm not asking... Oh, what the... Hey! How you doing? Suck pole, buddy! Oh, my wellness went down again? No, I'm just gonna beat your ass, quite literally. No, you're fine. Stay down. Okay, now you're down. Um, I need to use a bandage. Thank you. Um, you can drink a blood bag straight. Um... But you get very little benefit out of it. It's way more helpful if you turn it into, um... <gasps> fertilizer! I mean... First aid kits. I'm just gonna drink this beer. Because I deserve it. <laughs> hey, the apocalypse just happened, man. I deserve a nice buzz. F couch! What the... Fert... Get no one loves you, couch. Quit turning into a couch. Um, can I repair this at all? No, because I'm still scrapping something. Why'd I go for the cheerleader? She's faster. She's faster than he is. I wanted to hopefully get the fast one out of the way. There we go. Don't worry, I'm just going to do a reputable damage to your kneecaps. Nope, I didn't get double damaged. Oh, 
cool. Spike Club Schematic. Excellent. Cool. That'll up my club game quite a bit, actually. Ah! Where did you where did you come from? I demand to know. They're coming from downstairs. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Fudge this amount. Cause there's a mob. Cool. Okay. Neat. Nope. No thanks. <laughs> Dealing with a mob is not really something I'm at all interested at this stage of the game. Other stages of the game? Sure. When I have my pump shotgun and armor? Sure. No problem. Right now? No thanks. Um, anyway, the neat thing is the beer gives us a nice buzz, which gives us a nice stamina boost. So I'll have to deal with the strip club later. I was really hoping to deal with it sooner, but whatever. Um, either way. Yeah, I kind of ran back the, the same direction. Dang it, I was hoping I ran a different direction, but that's okay. Um, hopefully the mob back at my base scrammed off. Um, so I'll be able to dump off some stuff. And when I dump off some stuff, I'll be able to just go back to more exploring. We've got some nice things I want to. I do want to drop off. What is that one dark blip right there? Oh, that must be the water. It's weird. It's really weird how water generates in this game. Just straight up. It is it is a strange duck. Hi. You want in? You want in there, Scribbles? Huh? Huh? You want a piece? You want a piece there, jiggly butt? Yeah, I didn't think so. Since we are close to base, I will purge this corpse. Not even like holy man style. I'm just gonna beat it until it turns into nothing. Yeah, I'll take double stick damage by hitting you in the foot. Yeah. Yeah, deal with that. Oh, oh, oh. Am I collecting animal fat? I really hope I am. Oh, doesn't matter. She just exploded. Rotting flesh, large bone, rotting flesh. Yeah, she just exploded, so who cares? Eggs... Um, that's okay. What the? Where did you come from? Where is everyone coming from? Oh, okay. I could tell she's dead. Her head discombobulated. Ah, uh, gross. Eat. Eat. Ugh. Drink. Scrap. Okay, I'm at least feeling healthier because I ate stuff. Man, I can't believe I've lost three points of wellness. That's not a good sign. I mean, I'm feeling... Um... I don't want the yucca seed. I want the fat. Thanks. I'm all about the fat. Got everything, most of everything. Four more feathers, excellent. Okay, it's 420 now, just about. Up we go. Oh, my goodness. I need another bandage on top of that. Another gas barrel. Awesome. Use the bandage. Okay, so... I guess, uh, let's go home. Can I repair this at all? I can. Excellent. There's a freaking hole right here. There's a bunch of whatevers right here. Sure, no, just tear apart my base and then just die. That sounds perfect. You freaking jerks. That Iron Reinforced Club is way above my weight class, which is awesome. Er, 
crafting class? Nah, whatever. Still to point, that was a good find. Uh, I always like finding nice little upgrades for my my repertoire out of nothing. Can I just uh, alley-oop? <laughs> no. What I can do is teleport this magical block into a place it shouldn't exist. I can do that, no problem. Apparently. Uh, since the ground floor... Oh, the ground floor is actually compromised. Ugh. Can't wait to deal with that. Uh, nitrate powder, fat, oil, duct tape, leather. Uh, dukes, paper, lead, feathers. Dun, ba -dun, burn. Uh, Dukes and cash should be down here. A little easier for me to manage. Bing, bing, bing. Moldy bread. We got three of. That's not bad. Um, blood kit will go in the medical bin. So, another gun. Which I will assemble. And I'm done. Thank you. Um, so, 17, 17, 17. They're all the same because that's the bullets in my inventory. Now, if I click... Zero, zero, zero. But if I click on my gun, I don't have any bullets in my inventory, but the gun itself has 15 rounds in it. So I plan on selling all these four things. That'll be good. Painkillers, blood bag. Blood bag comes down here. Thank you. Corn. We got some good stuff. Oh, corn. Excellent. Um, Painkillers are sellables. I'm just going to keep my sellables with the gun stuff for now. It's just going to make that easier for me to remember. Um, bottled water. One, two, three. Gas can. Uh, murky. Um, I need new axe, please. This can scrap. This can scrap. I need new bow as well. Uh, I always like to craft up as much stuff as I possibly can. How many arrows do I have? 28? Ew. Ew. 20, 26 more should do just dandy. Um, this goes up there. Recipes. Arrow. Good. This is good that I came back. I feel a bit more revitalized. Speaking of revitalized, I need the bandages. Thank you. Also, what is my infection level at? Infection. You are infected. Okay, so I'm still infection level one. Eat. Perfect. Ooh. Good. Good, good. So it's only 541. Gosh, why do I keep coming down here? I always assume I gotta start from the ground floor. When I have literally nothing on the freaking ground floor. I'm just getting mad at myself at the moment. Ugh. Force of habit. Last five bases I've had, I start at the ground floor. So, I mean, whatever. Shut up, me. <laughs> no, you shut up. Good. Let's have a fight with ourselves now. <laughs> kidding, kidding, kidding. I'm just being silly. Oh, my goodness. Water break. Each of these seven days to die episodes have all been on one, one session. One gaming session, by the way. Oh, oh, you think so? You think that's funny? You think that's really funny, huh? You were attacking the door the last five seconds, you idiot. Whatever. Oh, arm. Awesome. Oh, and okay, magic happened and you're dead. <laughs> I have no clue. Magic box, magic box. I hope you're a new pair of socks. Magic box, oh, magic box. That's the third leather couch. That's so angry. That's the third or fourth stupid leather couch in my mystery boxes. <laughs> Damn it. It's okay. In all honesty, that's it's not that bad. It could be way worse. It could be way dumber. Um, it's probably going to be, but whatever. Anyway, if you can't see what these are, these are like little... Um, they're not railroad ties. They're just steel beams or metal beams or whatever. Um, so I'm just going through and collecting some stuff. If I had the axe, I would totally... Well, I'll just hit this up. Um, one of the game mechanics in addition to heat 
I guess I should mention now is called Crimes Against Nature. Oh, that was fast. I don't know if I wasn't paying attention or what, but it just disappeared. It felt like. Um, I'll check the tire in a second. But uh, one of the mechanics is called Crimes Against Nature. If you destroy too many trees in an area, you'll generate a crap ton of heat. Now, I saw that from the wiki, so I'm working on that knowledge. I, I don't know if it's something that everyone knows about or whatever, but for me, what I do is when I need to cut down like a ton of trees, I'm hoping I'm at motorbike level at that juncture, and I go quite a ways away, plant a ton of trees. Come back later, decimate all of them. That way, if I generate a ton of heat, kind of who cares? But, anyway, back to the point. You see these tires I'm thwacking at? Yeah. These are what I was telling you before. Since it doesn't matter on my search level, it, it, all I'm doing is hitting them. I'm not actually searching them. You just hit them with an axe or whatever. And you just get mini bike wheels. Um, they're used for mini bikes later in the game, but for right now, they're a good sellable item. So what I like to do is I'll just scavenge around. I'll just thwack a bunch of them. You'll find them in towns and on the roads and whatever. And I'll see which one's the best. I'll keep the one set that's the best, and then I'll sell all the others. They're worth two, three hundred a pop or whatever. Oh man, we got some skill points to spend. Yeah. When you scrap them, I don't know if you saw that, I'll do it one more time. They're only worth 22 metal. They're, they're not worth a lot. So scrapping them is foolish, especially when they're worth quite a bit more. But early game, it's a good commodity to sell. Now, that's a snake, forget that. I, I, I'm not scared of snakes. I just can't hit them in this game at all, no matter what. Um. Rocket launchers help. Uh, shotguns help. Um, pistols, not so much. Like, I can I can do the deed. The problem is it's like, I'm level 9. Forget that noise. Okay. Ooh, 446. So I'll sell this. 178, 189. Yeah, that's, that's good sellables right there. That's not shabby. That's not shabby in the slightest, yo. Okay, so what is our objective for the rest of the day? Well, aside from coming across that mob, I don't know if I can make it all the way back to the strip joint by now. Um, this will just produce coal, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, coal, and at a terrible rate. How am I on resources? Low. I'm low on resources. That's that's a thing, that's for certain. Um, it's 7.30 right now. If I could raid one more house or something, that would be awesome. Ow. Speaking of ow. Don't ever want to be at the point where it's, should I use a medical kit? Well, I only have one, but I'm kind of bleeding to death. You know, I don't ever want to be, because I've, I've played that, I've played that part way too much. In video games, where I was the, the conservative player. It was like, well, I might need this eventually, so I'm not going to use this triple A-10 airstrike, because I might need it later. And the thing is, by the time I decide that I need it, I could have used it three or four more times over, you know? Like, especially, like, Command & Conquer or whatever, for example. It's like, well, save that airstrike for a rainy day. It's like, dude, you're in war. Every day's a rainy day. Use your freaking airstrike. Are you high? No? Shut up. Use your airstrike. You're acting like you're high. Use that airstrike. Same thing here. It's like, if I don't use that medical kit, it's like, well, then I'll have a medical kit for tomorrow. And it's like, well, you might be dead tomorrow, so how about you don't? Same thing. So it's important to kind of get out of that um, conservative kind of approach of gaming. Because then you don't have as much enjoyment either, you know? Like, you want to use use the tools you got, man. Have fun. You got the airstrike ability. Use the airstrikes. What are you waiting for? In case you get attacked in seven minutes? Oh, wait. The recharge rate on the airstrike, the ability, is in seven minutes. Just use the airstrike. What are you doing? Anyway. Um, hashtag mercenaries2. Because that... Oh, oh, good. More antibiotics. Good, good. 
Because that's a game that made me really feel like, but I might need it later, was like my personal mantra. And then I kind of realized the game kind of ended, and I'm like, oh, I had all these awesome airstrikes. I didn't get to use any of them. Uh, like, I was just like sad puppy number five or whatever. If you had to check me in a movie or whatever, if I ever participated as a movie cast, I would be sad puppy number five. Um, or I would be moral leader 87 or something. Like, it'd be, it'd be me as some generic title and then some number or something. I think that'd be fun. Um, angry civilian number 32. That'd be funny as well. Okay, I'm going to search up these things. I'm going to get the heck out of here. I wasn't able to get into the strip joint, which is what I wanted. Um, which is okay. It's more for tomorrow. Um, but I should be able to clear out a little bit here. I was able to cure my infection, which is good, and find antibiotics, which is also good. So I'm not, I'm not like, mad or worried or whatever. It's just I wish we got farther, but that mob kind of screwed up everything. Um, because there's only really, honestly, so much I can do against a mob. And it's not because I don't have the power, it's because I don't have the stamina. I gotta duck and weave, duck and weave, duck and weave, duck and weave when I'm trying to fight off two or three zombies at a time. How am I gonna deal with eight zombies? And the answer is, I'm freaking not. So I'd rather be, um, I don't know. More TN, less Vegeta? I don't know. Like, I don't want to be the... I'm the Prince of all Saiyans, come get me! Like, I don't want to be all proud and crap. I want to be all, hey, uh... Here's an idea. How about we don't do any of that? And then we just, uh... You know, live another day. I don't know. Long story. Long story short. I, I like to be alive. Um, I did plant the the bedroll, which is good. So if I were to die, I would spawn back at home. The idea, though, is I don't want to die because dying would actually take off a bunch of my health. It would actually hemorrhage me... Any I've seen it anywhere from 8 to 18 points of wellness. Now, that was a few versions ago. If you're not aware, this game is actively under development. So, that's a point to note. When I last played, it was... Uh, 16.1... B1? I don't know what the B stands for. Build, probably. Uh, but uh, 16.1 sounds very familiar. From the last version, I... Oh, 525. Nice, nice. Um, so we'll sell two mini bike wheels because I don't think they'll buy three at a time. I think they only buy two. I'll bring three, but I think they only buy two. Um, anyway, uh, sixteen point one is the last time I really played seriously with a friend of mine, and you know I'm not too sure what might have changed in between. I don't read the change notes. Um, uh, to be absolutely honest with you, I try to avoid the change notes on video games I'm playing. I like to enjoy it and try to figure it out on my own. Um, unless it's like competitive first-person shooter stuff. Um, if it's just like general gaming or whatever, like I'd, I'd rather figure out whatever got changed on my own. I think that's a lot more fun. If hit points got balanced or whatever, um, or something stronger or weirder or whatever, I, I kind of like to figure that out by myself, if I'm honest. I don't know if that's weird or what that is, but I don't know, it's just it's just something I like doing. Feathers, glue, oil, iron, cotton is a botanical. Botanicals all go to the whatever. To the food stuffs. Um, so uh this I wanna keep. Sell, 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 sell. And let's dump off this brass. And water, empty. Okay. Um, I have more than enough for goldenrod tea. I have more than enough for... Oh, I don't need that much. Goodness gracious. Uh, 10 would be fine. 
or 15 would be great 15 would be perfect um i do want all this bottled murky water into not murky water so i'm just gonna grab 15 here okay so goldenrod tea is five minutes that's more than five minutes doesn't matter bottled water is 540 so i need 1040 Eh, whatever. A little extra doesn't hurt. Um, cool. The next thing I want to work on is what's called a forge. A forge is going to allow us to make... Uh, oh. My goodness, I forgot. Oh, I need clay. Well, thankfully, I have a steel shovel. So this won't suck so bad. It's still going to suck, though. But just not so bad. I'm not really worried about the... Oh, no, no, no! Give me that! Give me that! Give me that! Give me... Oh, my gosh. Don't mess with me like that game. Huh. Whew. You're messing with me. I don't like it. Um, Forge is what's going to turn a lot of these baser irons and stuff into uh, forged iron. It's also what's going to help us do steel. So I'm going to need that. I also need that for better defensives. Um, okay, so we're wrapping up day three. Not bad scavenging. Not bad scavenging at all. I'm pretty happy about how far we've come. Um, I need to plant some of this yucca fruit. Um, I can't really survive on it forever because I'm going to run out of it. Um, how are we on food? 51. Ouch. Um... Can I cook some meat? I want to save a majority of this meat. Charred meat. Okay. Problem I have with this game is it doesn't tell you what you're getting before you do it. That's something that drives me crazy. But whatever. Um, let's talk skills. It's been a while since we've done some skill talking. Uh, Athletics 20 is what we need for sexual Tyrannosaurus. We're at 13. All right, we're, we're getting on our way. We're getting on our way. Uh, weapon smithing requires player level 10. I'm sure so does tool smithing and armor crafting. Yeah, we're level nine and a quarter. Yeah, not too bad. So we're getting up there pretty soon. That's gonna take 18 points, six for each, I'm sure. Six, uh, six, six, three. Okay, so that's 15, so that's not too bad. Um, aside from that, I'd like to hit the shop soon. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things to sell. And what that's going to do is that's going to improve our barter skills. Let's take a look at that. Bartering is something we get from buying and selling goods more frequently. Right now, the prices are horrendously stacked against us, which sucks. However... By increasing our barter skill, we get better percentages of price. So the price modifier is plus 5% right now, which is still garbage. I need to move away from the fire. Thank you. Thank me. Thank you. Um, aside from that, so that's a thing. The other things that are important that I really want to work on, oops, excuse me, especially in the scavenging and trading skill, are the secret stash, but we need barter level 20. This improves the secret stash column I was showing you before. We might be able to buy uh, engines, generators, uh, solar panels, crap like that. Um, quality Joe is another thing that's important. It produce, Im improves the loot quality that we get. So, for example, this club that we got, which was like, what, 212, 213? Would have been another 25, which would have been pretty nice. And that goes up 25, 50, 100. It's expensive, but holy crap, it's good. The last thing I want to really concentrate on is something called Treasure Hunter. Now, we'll get quests that specifically say, Hey, there's a treasure, bra ba da bra last hope of humanity, bra ba da bra save this whatever, something, something treasure. That's the last thing I care about is the treasure. Right now, our treasure radius, which is when we have the thing, we go there it'll start pulsating when we're close. The problem is that's the radius and it's really, really long. We want to shorten it by leveling up treasure hunter. And I'm just going to click here. We can greatly reduce the treasure radius, which makes that a lot easier for us to find treasure. Treasure can be anything from just straight money to guns, to ammo, to gems, to 
I think like four or five other really cool things I can't think of right now. But thing is, treasure hunting, hashtag, totally worth it. Either way, I'm going to wrap this up as an episode. My name is John Megacycle. Thank you so much for joining me in another episode of 7 Days to Die. This was 7 Days um, 3.5. I guess I'm still splitting these into half-hour episodes. Sounds fair to me. So, yeah. So, thank you very much for joining me, and I'll catch you next time.